The puzzle template is a quick and easy way to get started with a simple click and interact puzzle type game. The template provides us with things such as touch and mouse interaction, automatic level creation, state based changes to the appearance, as well as a basic UI with a score tracking system. If we go ahead and run our example template and look through it, we get again an interaction system. I could click either with the mouse or if this was a touch device on any of the pieces and they'd react accordingly. In this example, they simply highlight. Once they highlight, they actually interact with the grid itself and they tell it to give it a score. We can see our score updating here. We have the ability for each of these things to change the material based on if we clicked on them or not, and we keep track of everything appropriately. Now with a little bit of effort and a few small changes, we can go ahead and turn this into more of a traditional like blackout puzzle game. Where if I run this, we see our same grid. We have a few text in some different areas, but when I click on a piece, it will alter the colors of the surrounding four directions. So in this case, the goal is to light everything up or darken everything based on whatever your setup is. In this case, it's lighting them up. Once it's done, I get a successful complete message and we can play it again with the simple user interface. Now the nice thing about this is it didn't take very long just to add in the basic gameplay elements and a few little UI polishes. And this could easily at this point be expanded upon to be a much more robust game, especially in like a game jam environment where you don't have much time. You could easily take the grid that is creating. This is our manager that creates the grid. You could easily modify this to make our grid larger or a different type. You could have, for example, a diamond. The blocks themselves, they simply take their information and pass it back to the grid if they are going to toggle or not. So the interaction is independent. The hierarchy is still intact. The blocks report to the grid and the grid handles if everything's lit up or not. So it doesn't really matter what size or layout we have for our actual grid. It's going to handle itself appropriately. So at this point, you could easily just create a few levels of different designs, different patterns they may have to fill in, for example. You could modify your appearance. We could go into, for example, our materials. We could modify them to give us a little bit of a different look. Orange and blue, maybe you have different colors it has to modify to. Easily change this along with a basic appearance. Throw in some particle effects and some better user interface and some better art. And you have a nice, simple puzzle game that was quick and easy to work on and iterate on.